Hi, welcome to the Edge Summit. We're here in the digital studio and I'm joined on stage today with Ash Madhav, the Head of Insights and Customer Engagement for Revolution Beauty. Ash, I'm so excited that you're here with me. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for having me. No problem at all. We're looking forward to talking about AI and the use of AI in customer retention um, to drive loyalty campaigns. And I understand it's something that you've been really successful with uh, at Revolution Beauty. How much do you think that the, the role of data quality plays in having um, successful customer retention campaigns? So yeah, I mean, data is crucial. Coming from a data background, I think, you know, we I have had challenges in the past where we've have had siloed data um, and having that single customer view and all the data in, in one platform, one place is crucial. Um, but also it is, you know, it's clean data. So not just having the data, but the data need to be in, a, in an accurate, clean uh, format and real time, you know, as much as possible. Um, so all that enables AI models to drive precise insights um, and, you know, it powers the personalization elements within marketing campaigns. So data is absolutely crucial. And, you know, the more data that you can feed into the, the single customer view, so zero party data, et cetera, um, you know, the richer it is, the AI campaigns are, you know, more successful. That's, that's what we've learned. Fantastic. And what are the benefits do you have then from having you know, clean data, using AI in your customer retention campaigns? What are the key benefits that you've seen? So in terms of benefits, I would say uh, three things. Uh, so definitely speed, efficiency and scaling. Um, so, for example, in terms of speed, um, Bloomreach, um, is, I think it's in beta version, a feature called Lumi AI Assistant, yeah. which is my favorite. So it's an <laughs> extension of our team. Um, so that, uh, you know, is basically what it is, is, uh, you know, you ask Lumi uh, a question to build a report or a segment for you and, you know, it comes back in seconds, really. And with, with minor t tweaks, you're basically, you can run with the report and segments. So you're saving a lot of time. So, you know, we've been playing around with it and we've worked out that it saves around four to five hours a week, wow. uh, you know, which is amazing because that's the time that we can actually better utilize to take actions from, from the insides rather than spending time to build uh, a report or a segment from scratch. That's so that's been, really been amazing for us in terms a of, yeah. of two. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So speed, I mean, that's been really helpful for us in terms of like speedy insights. Mm -hmm. Um, and in terms of efficiency, uh, you know, we're always looking for ways to, you know, protect our margin, you know, drive growth, etc. Um, so specifically around, I think I can think of an example around like lead, lead gen. Uh, so we've been, um, you know, um, Bloomreach obviously has an amazing feature called uh, contextual personalization. And we've been like experimenting that within our lead gen campaigns. Um, so this is basically not every customer um, you know, needs a promotion to convince them to, you know, opt into our database. Um, and previously, like we, we've been doing traditional A-B testing where we would have a few options of content and whichever the winner is, all the segments would see that winner. But now, uh, you know, with this AI feature, we are able to uh, tailor different content to different audiences. And what we've noticed is over time, because it takes time to learn all these algorithms, the more time you give it, the better it gets. And what we've noticed is the conversion rate of customers who are signing up without a promotion is very close to a promo driven segment. So it's amazing that we are able to, you know, protect our margin, but we, every customer doesn't need that promotion. They are more than happy to sign up to, you know, to be part of your community and database, uh, you know, just to get uh, access to product launches and, you know, updates on loyalty points, etc. So it's not always about promotion. And that's what we've learned within, you know, using these AI features. So that's, I think, definitely efficiency. I mean, I, that's what I, I could think of. Um, and the last thing is scaling, which is like, it's our favorite word of revolution. Um, so we are so good at test and learn. And the question we always get asked is, how can we scale the success? Um, and, uh, you know, we've been... Uh, just within like strategy campaigns, et cetera, you know, be it a uh, re-engaging with our lapsed uh, subscribers or replenishment or product recommendations, we are able to scale it, um, you know, without any human in intervention because we can automate these campaigns and we don't really have to, you know, manually send them. So that's been amazing in terms of scaling. Obviously, you know, with the support from Bloomreach, we would love to have that kind of, you know, scaling capacity across all our campaigns so that, you know, we're kind of focusing on, 
other retention strategies, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to drive our business. So yeah, I think those are the benefits that we've, we've seen so far. Wow. So early stages and we've seen all this. Yeah, time efficiencies and, and scaling quickly, but also um, profitably as well. That's, yeah. that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Any other noticeable improvements that you've seen as a result of the, the these campaigns? Sure, I think, um, I mean, I would say that we, we get to see, what I would love is to see benefits at a macro level. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, especially for us, from a, from a retention and loyalty point of view, our metrics are lifetime value, repeat purchase, customer satisfaction, et cetera. Um, and like I said, you know, we're just at the starting stage of uh, AI um, kind of driven personalization campaigns. So what we're seeing is amazing um, improvements and benefits and metrics at, at a micro level, which yeah. we're seeing, which is brilliant. Um, so recently we did a, um, we, we updated our uh, lapsed uh, campaign, which is lapsed email subscribers. Uh, we actually did a case study. I will let the viewers read through it. I'm not going to share the stats. Absolutely. Uh, but we saw some amazing uh, improvement with just, in, you know, including a few of the AI features like send time optimization. That's a very simple one to use, but it's very, very, um, you know, um, powerful. And also contextual personalizations, et cetera. So, um, so we are seeing massive improvements within micro campaigns. We've seen amazing improvement in click-through rates. That shows the engagement is strong. It's relevant it's personalized um, and within uh, you know we're seeing massive improvements within uh, push notifications website personalization etc from a conversion point of view conversion rate point of view so you know when we are including AI elements we're seeing a very clear improvement um, and obviously the algorithms are learning so the longer you run you know there's more data it's learning um, what we need to now do is scale it yes we need to see it at the macro level and i'm sure we can we can get there end of this year i'm like i'm really confident about it we're already doing it ar around 30 percent of all our campaigns we really need that across the 100 percent of the campaigns got it okay so lots of successes already more to come which yeah. is great what about any challenges you faced um, um, with rolling out these uh, you know ai within your customer retention and your loyalty campaigns what challenges have you faced I think I probably already touched on it in terms of like the data, the siloed data was our big challenge. And, you know, ever since we onboarded Bloomreach, it's made our life easier because everything is in one platform. You know, it's not just data in multiple platforms. It's more around taking actions as well. So, uh, you know, we're able to, with those insights, we're able to create amazing marketing, uh, marketing campaigns, automated where possible, scale it, um, but also analyze it in the same platform. So th those were our biggest challenges. We weren't able to do that before, but now you know we're able to do that really easily and all in one place. So that's how we've addressed that that challenge. Um, but you also just reminded me of something else that when we were talking about it. It's not exactly a challenge, but something that we've learned on the go is that um, you know, when we have all these strategy automations uh, running, it, you know, you can't just let AI run it. I, uh, what we've learned is we have to kind of go back and revisit it so mm -hmm. that human touch Absolutely. is needed. It's, there's a balance, I think. I mean, we haven't gone to that stage yet where the machine just runs everything. So we need that balance. And, um, you know, what we've noticed is a simple example where you know, our welcome program is our number one strategy campaign with double digit open rate, click through rate and conversion rate. So you can imagine how amazing it is. It's our number one campaign. So we just went back and refreshed the content um, and, you know, just changed the look and feel, made it more seasonal um, and more, made it more relevant to everything that was going on at that point of time. And we saw a 70% increase in revenue week on week just by doing that. So basically what I'm trying to say is that AI is doing its job, but I think we need that, man, you know, a manual intervention to go and, you know, update where possible and that, that human touch just to make it a bit more... Um, you know, relevant. relevant yeah. yeah, I think we haven't come to that stage yet where we just completely let, let it run. And that's something that we've learned. And now we're actually going back and revisiting all these amazing automated campaigns every you know, every now and then periodically. I think I think it you know it's been helping to us. try and find some new optimization. Exactly. It's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So, what does the future hold then? What are you most excited about for for AI at Revolution Beauty? Content AI. So basically, so we've you know we figured out how to get speedy insights. We, you know we've uh, automated our campaigns and we can do more with it within that but I think where we're lacking is that content side of a design is still uh, you know a, it takes a lot of time um, but we still need that but if there was a way to I think I'm, I'm sure like Bloom Riches, I think I've overheard like you guys are already looking into that or already working on that what would be amazing is if we can 
you know, in the asset manager or in, in the Bloomreach world, if we can provide like brand guidelines and fonts and colors, ex, you know, for different seasons, et cetera, if it can automatically do that content side of it, like create banners for ads, et cetera, wow, yeah. on the go, where we're not spending time, you know, waiting for design team to, to do that. Obviously, we would still need the amazing design team for the look and feel, et cetera. But I think as much as possible, where, it, where there are, like quick campaigns where we need to really react really quickly. It'd be amazing to not wait, you know, do a brief and wait for the design team to deliver that. It'd be amazing if um, Bloomreach or, you know, whichever tool we, you know, um, we're able to integrate with, it'd be amazing to to automate that, yeah. create content on the go. More time saving, more, more time. Yeah, exactly. All right, thank you. Well, it's been fantastic uh, interviewing you today. Thank you so much. So many insights that you've shared with us and so many results as well. So excited to see what's next for Revolution. Beauty. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining us today and please tune into the Digital Content Studio for more episodes from the Edge Summit 2024.